Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for the invitation to this interesting meeting. Well, um, I'm very glad to share with you the experience that we had uh, here in Italy um, because um, of the social dialogue at Collective Bergeny, uh, because we think it's the only way, uh, the only possible way to face uh, uh, a so uh, strong uh, and uh, difficult situation. From the very beginning, uh, we urged the government uh, uh, and uh, the employers uh, of the private and public sectors uh, uh, to have an active dialogue. And uh, we succeeded uh, on the 14th of March, three days after the lockdown, to sign uh, as Confederation uh, the first uh, um, agreement uh, uh, that uh, negotiated uh, uh, the safety and the security of all workers uh, during the pandemic. This agreement uh, has been uh, recently, uh, recently rediscussed and implemented uh, with uh, um, other measures to face uh, the gradual reopening that we are approaching in these days. After, as Federation of Public Services, <coughs> we have uh, um, signed uh, other uh, agreements, uh, other sectoral agreements. Uh, first of all, the 19th of March, uh, an agreement about the waste sector that was that had uh, at the aim to protect the waste workers from uh, coronavirus, while guaranteeing the continuum of the services uh, and making uh, a critical contribution to the overcoming of the health emergency. You know that waste workers uh, have to safely remove the medical waste, and so it's very important. Uh, to give an example of uh, this agreement, uh, uh, we imposed uh, uh, the distancing in the waste trucks uh, with only one uh, driver in the driver's cab in, in, instead of two persons, as, as it was before. Um, another agreement, very important, was uh, about public administration. Uh, this agreement uh, uh, we wanted to recognize the right to maximum information and protection with the primary interest of combining the interest of workers and safety and security of workers and interest and security of users too. Uh, so the agreement uh, um, was discussed and implemented also at central and decentralized uh, place of work. And uh, the first, uh, the, the main important uh, principle was uh, full information for all workers uh, during the pandemic. All possible work tasks uh, done uh, by uh, uh, remote work or in smart work. And the principle of no economic loss for staff employed in temporary suspended activities. Maximum level of safety and PPEs for all workers. For example, giving an example of this agreement, uh, we obtained uh, more, uh, with the social dialogue, more security device and resources for the IT infrastructure, but also simplification of the, procedure, of the procedures uh, to facilitate the online implementation. For example, we obtain a low disposition to carry out some demographic services online and not in presence of the applicant. Uh, we had uh, to face uh, a lot of challenges, like, like the short stage and access uh, to PPA for all workers, uh, and um, also uh, the, the attempt of some companies uh, to take advantage of the social security schemes in the private sector. And we could experience the, above all in the waste sector, that uh, the publicly owned and managed companies uh, had better resist the COVID uh, impact. Uh, also because uh, they, uh, instead of the private ones, uh, they guaranteed the workers' income and better condition, and they put profit, they didn't put profit before security. Uh, so we think we have to rethink all the system and the go uh, to uh, a republic, uh, public service, a republic 
utilization of the services. That at the moment in the waste sector, see the 40% of the total is private. Uh, as con I want to conclude that uh, this protagonism of the unions in Italy uh, has been very important to uh, uh, face uh, the pandemic and also in this space too, because we are facing uh, uh, the partial lift uh, of the lockdown, uh, it's very important in this uh, reopening phase uh, to share uh, all the decision uh, with uh, trade unions. For example, uh, we are now uh, approaching a discussion about the zero six childcare that depend in Italy mostly um, uh, to. Um, uh, on uh, uh, local regional government and we presented a unitarian document uh, to the government uh, to open a discussion uh, with time because we are going to open the services in September in a completely safety safeguarding uh, uh, the, the rights of children and of uh, uh, workers. Overall, uh, we strongly believe that the consequences of COVID would be very, very hard, uh, uh, above all uh, from an economical point of view. And so only an even uh, stronger uh, social dialogue be between trade unions and local administration uh, can really uh, approach and face uh, the uh, hard consequences of the crisis. Thank you very Thank much you. for your attention.